All lead capture forms should include three key pieces of information, first name, last name, and email address. This gives Dubsado the ability to create them as a client in the address book and set up a project for them with their details added. If you're using one of the templates we've provided, this will already be set up correctly. But just in case you're getting an error message when you attempt to save the form, here's what needs to be included. The client's first name, last name, and email address need to be collected in three separate short answer fields, all marked as required, which you can update by editing the elements. Behind the scenes, these three responses must be mapped to the appropriate area as well so that it's stored properly within the future project. So the first name short answer should be mapped to the client's first name. The same goes for mapping the last name short answer to last name and the email address short answer to email address. Once you have those three fields and their settings in place, you can use the elements on the left-hand side to customize your form with additional questions and formatting. This form will help you prepare for your first interaction with the lead, so the content should include anything you need to know up front about your lead. If you qualify your leads before taking the next step, be sure to ask about the specific information that will help you determine if working together is a good fit. In general, the shorter your lead capture is, the easier it is for a client to fill out, which means less friction in getting them started. So it's important to find the right balance between gathering information and staying brief. If needed, you can always send a detailed questionnaire to your client later on, so don't feel that you need to collect all the project specifics up front. In addition to the basic elements, the lead capture form has additional special elements available for customizing. The project tracking element lets you capture how this client heard about you. After they've filled out the form, the client's individual response will be saved inside their project. And a breakdown of responses from all projects will be available in the reporting section of your Dubsado account under Project Breakdown. It's also important to note here that the project tracking and project breakdown features are only available on a trial or premier subscription. The HTML block element allows you to embed any external media or elements into your form, such as YouTube or Vimeo videos, or maybe a slideshow from Adobe Illustrator. It's important to note here that the HTML block is not designed to embed Dubsado templates into your form, but only external content. And if you are wanting to customize the styling of your form, this should be done under the Form Styling tab using the Custom CSS option. Using workflows in Dubsado is always optional. If you don't want to start automation from your lead capture form, that's perfectly fine. If you do plan to use workflows in the future, there are two simple methods to connect a workflow template to a lead capture form when you're ready to go live. Once you've connected the two, anytime a lead capture form gets filled out, it will create a new project and a specific workflow template will be applied and activated inside that new project at the same time. The first method is selecting a default workflow under the Form Settings tab. 
This is great for businesses that follow the same process for all clients because the same workflow will be applied to every new project, no matter who fills out the lead capture form or what they're interested in. The second method is adding a workflow element under the elements list, which looks like a drop-down menu to the client. Behind the scenes, you can assign a particular workflow template to each option given to the client. Based off of which option they choose, that workflow will start in their project. You can edit the question that shows up here, as well as the response options and the assigned workflows. Here's a tip. This is a great time to start thinking about the process that begins once a potential client fills out your lead capture form. Some great questions to ask are what are the next steps internally? Can you create a templated response for the client? Do the next steps vary based off of the type of service? Jot down some notes to prepare for setting up content and automation down the road.